What is up, Dick Bags? JJ back here from Run Pure Bets with another free pick for you. This time it's going to be in Major League Baseball for Friday, May the 14th. Game's going to be played between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies. Going for the Jays is Steven Matz, and for the Phillies is Vince Velasquez. Current betting spread is Jays minus 145, total 10 and a half. So um, we grab a nice dub with the uh, Tigers as a small dog versus the Royals from Tuesday. Uh, Tigers then went out to complete the sweep today. Uh, the sport's streaky, folks. Um, if you're over there thinking, you know, teams are long overdue for a win or a loss, uh, you're begging, begging to lose money in this sport. With that said, um, you can't just blindly fade teams or, or, or losing streaks or blindly tail teams on winning streaks. Um, I mean, sure, you know, you can. But, I mean, remember, um, it's all about sapping value out of all your bets. Um, if the overall market is bullish on a team while they're winning, uh, you'll be heavily taxed on every bet you make. Uh, along that you know that path same goes for you know fading a team uh, that's losing uh, but with this in mind um, the market you know usually doesn't overreact uh, uh, to this unless it's like a super popular team right uh, so anyways moves these videos to nine and three plus 5.9 u I did tell you as I've always done in the past I will start tracking these videos after the baseline of 10 plays uh, and look we'll aim to build on it here play I really like in this game over 10 and a half runs. Uh, the sign is not out yet in all legal markets or any legal markets for that matter. Uh, but I uh, expect to see it. Uh, and once it pops, I'll fire. Bet MGM tends to have the softest numbers. Reddit open, so I'll likely fire there. But yes, over 10 and a half. So let's start with the pitchers. Uh, going for the Jays is uh, Steven Matz. And if you've watched Matz pitch long enough in his career, you'd know he's quite streaky. He goes through stretches where it seems like he has things figured out and stretches where he looks like he belongs in the minors. Uh, he's currently in a stretch much closer to the latter versus the former. Um, you know, could he correct himself against the Philly team or a Philly lineup dealing with some injuries? Maybe, but I can't blindly assume this. And it's not like, um, you know, anything in his numbers is, is, is worthy of falling in love with. 344 weighted OBA versus righties, 284 versus lefties, walking nearly two and a half per nine, giving up uh, nearly a, a home run every five fly balls. And by the way, he's not exactly in a ballpark um, that... Uh, is is good to be giving up deep fly balls in. Uh, home runs have played Mats or plagued Mats throughout his career, and he's once again having this issue. Also worth noting, uh, Mats is by no means an innings eater, rarely pitching past the sixth inning. This is important uh, because the Blue Jays' pen has issues all over it. Now, coming into the season, you could argue this was a top 15 pen in baseball, but with Dallas, Phelps, Barucki, Mayweather, and even Castro all out, this is by no means even a top 20 bullpen. They still have a few live arms back there, but it gets real shaky after Romano and Chatwood. This pen should be refreshing for Philly to see, uh, regardless if Matt's does well or not. Now, Vince Velasquez, let's move over to him. He's a guy who has been nothing short of smoke and mirrors thus far. Uh, weighted OBA of 315 versus lefties, uh, 372 versus righties. How about his 363 weighted OBA on the road? Um, you know, Did I mention his walk issues? Uh, it's one of arguably the worst Guy in baseball giving up free passes over six per nine innings. Um, with this many free passes and all the hard contact, how is Velasquez's ERA this low? How is it not like eight? Uh, well, he's striking out nearly 11.5 per nine, and his left on base percentage is over 90%. Of course, that's going to regress at some point. Uh, another pitcher, though, with woeful home run to fly ball numbers, uh, even worse than Matt's thus far, giving up a home run almost out of one every one out of every four fly balls. Uh, it's just absolutely crazy. Now, also, uh, not another innings eater here on this side, um, as he's pitched just into the sixth inning just once. He's been awful pitching from the stretch as well. Um, the piling up of pitch count, well, awful in terms of that's when, he's, when his home runs seem to always be given up. Uh, piling up of pitch counts uh, as well is uh, pretty obvious from the walks he piles up. Um, now, onto the Philly pen as well, which on paper, again, top 15 pen, but with no Archie Bradley, this has pushed them out of this for me. I guess it's possible he could return tomorrow, but... Um, I don't expect him to. And still a few respectable arms in this pen, but this pen's likely to be busy um, uh, in this game for Philly with Velasquez's infrequent ability to stay in games long. Let's talk on the bats here. The Blue Jays, I think this goes without saying, are absolutely hitting their stride. Four runs or more in eight straight games, all of which were on the road. Um, they now come home to the American League Coors Field where they've put up some silly numbers in this ballpark. Um, I've said this for a while since this uh, videos have started that this field uh, should have daily totals higher than Coors Field, and, and I believe it won't be long until every day you can expect totals at this park to be higher than Coors Field, you know, as long as however long the Blue Jays end up playing here. Um, and the hot sticks now coming back to this park is just another easy check for me in favor of the overcom. Phillies bats uh, do have some injuries on their side. 
Uh, but they do have, still have some lefty mashers, though, right? McCutcheon, Segura, Hoskins, and even Bohm, uh, to name a few. And there won't be uh, pitchers batting in this game either with it coming to the American League. Bottom of this Phillies lineup is a bit of a black hole with some of these injuries that are plaguing them. But they still have some live sticks all around, and, and, and Matt's really can't just get a free pass on anybody. Um, I've already talked up this stadium down in Florida uh, for the Jays. Um, look, it's going to be 80-degree night, 50% humidity, wind blown out to right center at 14 miles per hour. These are all juicy items in favor of an over. Um, so I've talked your ears off enough. I really like this 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 spot over 10.5. I think it's actually a full run short. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if this closes at 11, but 10.5 um, is an auto bet for me. And again, I'll wait for it to open up here in legal markets, but I do see that uh, that number elsewhere, and it will pop uh, should pop shortly. Uh, me, most likely, I will be betting it at BetMGM, though. So again, that's for Friday, May the 14th, Blue Jays versus Phillies, over 10.5. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up, create some fake accounts more thumbs up if you did not enjoy i hope someone takes a shit in your mailbox as always drop comments below with your thoughts in the vid and let me know who you're betting tomorrow remember folks comment section is warm dive on in uh, and also i always get back to you so you know don't be silly um and or don't be a stalker um i'll be back live on saturday for another vid talking baseball talking the slate with the best bet and uh, early afternoon on sunday as well with joey and holden doing the same thing we have run pure bets content lined up all weekend so buckle up folks nba ufc nascar and with, of course, more baseball and tennis as uh, the Rome tournament closes out. Wanted to thank you again for watching. Be sure to gamble responsibly. Stay safe, folks.